Good afternoon, everyone. Hello and welcome to day three of the Accra Indie Film Festival conversation with the filmmakers. So today we have two filmmakers on. One is based in the UK, the other is based in Turkey. So it's going to be a very interesting conversation with Stephanie and Barack. I'm just adding them up now to the call. Don't forget that while the live is on and we'll definitely read them out or ask the filmmakers as the live commences. Hello, Burak. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. I'm just adding on um, Stephanie now. Yeah, to the call. Yes. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, so I'm waiting for Stephanie so that she can join in. And I was just um, telling our listeners that you are based in Turkey and it's going to be a very interesting conversation today with Stephanie and yourself. Um, so this is the third day of this conversation that we are having with filmmakers. These filmmakers have their films on the Accra Indie Film Festival 2023. So it's going to be exciting this year from the 31st of July to the 5th of August. So we're inviting you all listeners, filmmakers out there, and also those who want to go into the film industry so, to come around and then um, watch the screenings of the films. So we're waiting for... Okay, so Stephanie is joining us in a bit now. We're going to go straight into it shortly. And how is it, how is it going in Turkey? It's 3 p.m. there, right? Yes. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Stephanie. Hello. And how's the weather in Turkey? Ah, uh, so much. Nice and hot. Oh, great. great. And in the UK, Stephanie? Um, it's actually warm today. It's actually warm today, so we're oh. doing well. <laughs> oh, then that, that's interesting because it's so warm here today. Yesterday was a very, very rainy day, but today is pretty warm, so oh, that's interesting. Wow. Global <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I'm here with Stephanie and Barack. I'll go straight to reading your bios. I couldn't memorize it because it's a mouthful, so I'll just go ahead to read the bios now before we get into the conversation. Okay, so I'll start with Stephanie Boating. And Stephanie Boating is a London director based in Accra, Ghana. Stephanie has won three awards within international film festivals, including the title of Best U.S. Film at the European Cinematography Awards. Stephanie has also won Best Music Video for Directing One by One by the artist Rodrell, and she is currently working on her debut feature film entitled Dumso Lights Off, which is being shot and produced in Ghana. So that's Stephanie over here. We're going to be um, talking to her about her experience as a filmmaker, but particularly going to be delving into Logged In, which is a film screening at this year's festival. So welcome, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank I'm you. going to be reading Burak's um, bio now. So Burak completed his postgraduate degree in cinematography at the Australian Film, TV and Radio School. His works won numerous awards, including the Best Achievement in Cinematography Award at the St. Kilda FF, Best Cinematography Award at the Canberra SFF, and Best Directing at the Dallas Independent Film Festival, and screened at prestigious the Berlinale and Warsaw FF. Burak is currently developing his first feature, feature films currently, which is very exciting news. And we're going to be delving into his debuting, or it's going to have its African premiere at the Accra Indie Film Festival this year. So welcome, Burak. I'd like to know your journey. I know you um, completed with cinematography degree in 2014 and everything, but how has been the journey so far? Completing school in 2014. 
couldn't get the end end of the. It's. Take us through the journey of filmmaking for you. Ah, uh, it, it's uh, actually uh, I started making films in two thousand. This was oh, my my okay. initial um, uh, day of. All right, uh, is it better? Yes, that's better now. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 are we good? Yeah. I uh, I started in two. Sorry. Hello. Okay, Burak, please go yeah. your journey. Yes. To filmmaking. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I started in 2004. Uh, that's when I graduated from the school. Uh, and uh, I've done cinematography for 10 years uh, prior to my master's degree. And uh, since after the master's degree, uh, I also started directing. Um, my first short film I directed in 2019, actually, uh, which was uh, a part of uh, the second Accra Film Festival as well. Um, and yeah, so I, I've done uh, a lot of uh, different ty types of films and documentaries, uh, different parts of the world, Vietnam, um, some parts of Europe and uh, Turkey and Australia generally. Um, yeah, so this this has been uh, my journey in a nutshell. Okay, okay, thank you. And um, what are some of the challenges that you face as a filmmaker in Turkey? Um, challenges. Well, I, I the biggest challenge uh, is like probably uh, almost everywhere as a short filmmaker anyway, um, is the funding. Um, funding is uh, is very hard. Uh, most of the uh, films we are making, it's uh, funded and uh, donation-based funding and a lot of uh, contribution by uh, fellow collaborators and them being generously uh, dedicating their time uh, without asking anything. Um, this is probably the biggest challenge. Uh, other than that, um, Turkey, the, the film industry is mainly based in Istanbul. Uh, um, so outside Istanbul, uh, there are uh, there can be issues finding resources or um, mm. a certain type of equipment. Um, if 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 you need uh, very specialized s stuff or people, uh, you need to bring them uh, mostly uh, from Istanbul. Uh, these are the two main. Uh, Obstacles, I think. But okay. uh, say, saying this, I, I I feel lucky that I didn't really uh, feel uh, a big big weight on on the obstacles. Somehow we we've been sorting it out. So, hmm. right. I guess these are general obstacles that indie filmmakers face because um, yesterday and the previous day. These were also um, issues that were brought up by the filmmakers we spoke to. So I'll go to Stephanie now. And um, while I was reading about your work, I realized that you've done a number of music videos. Um, so I'd like you to take us through the transition stage from music videos to now um, short films. And now you're also working on your feature film. So basically your journey as a filmmaker.
sorry, Alice. Hello, Hello Stephanie, can you hear me? Hi, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. so um, please take us through your journey from music videos to short films okay. and now on your feature film. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, so I guess it was a transitional process, but I've always been, for me, just film. Um, that's always what I've wanted to do. Um, I was in LA. I lived there for about two and a half years. And I think during that period of time, that's when I was able to kind of work on um, videos with different people, including some artists and one that I guess came really fond of. Um, but very much it allowed me to just slowly kind of build up more of a portfolio whilst out there. Um, that probably overshadowed it just because, um, you know, the names of some of the people and the promotion that they do. So um, a lot of my work, um, I started kind of putting it out there and sharing it in festivals so more people kind of knew the other projects I was working on. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of how the transition happened. And in terms of right now, um, with um, the feature that I'm working on, it's very much a long process because um, as Barack mentioned, when it comes to funding and being able to put everything together, it's not always the easiest thing. Um, so it's script ready, um, you know, it's just kind of building the right team as well as making sure that we are in a good position um, to undertake it. So it's, a, it's, a, it's still a long process, even though it's um, kind of past first stage of development. So um, yeah. Sorry, I lost you a little bit, um, Alice. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me. Um, I can't. No, I can't hear. I can't hear. Oh, you can't I... hear either. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I put um, the microphone on mute. Sorry about that. So I was saying oh, no, the no, challenges okay. <laughs> as a filmmaker, challenges you face as an indie challenges. filmmaker. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I think <laughs> I think a lot does come with. Um, Definitely funding, I think, would be the biggest thing. I think um, just kind of building um, projects with people, a lot of people are, you know, open to collaborating, especially if you kind of share a project with someone and they have the same um, kind of vision for, you know, their work. It's, it's good to be able to collaborate with people. And I think um, with Kwame and Locked In, for example, that was just like a great collaboration. I've known him for like 13 plus years. Um, we went to drama school together when I was first initially started acting. So known him for such a long time and this was like the first project we worked on together and it happened organically um which i really love but i think the challenges definitely um come with just being able to showcase your work on platforms uh when it comes to distribution when it comes to funding um but i think you just have to kind of keep building that content and just pushing it out there building a reach um and you know there's people that are out there that want to see continued content so um yeah definitely challenging but um you kind of keep um rolling with the punches i guess try and continue to push out you want to show um the world yes and definitely roll yeah yeah well you both have your films at the indie film festival so congratulations on that and i'll just Thank like you. to ask you Stephanie, um between Los Angeles, UK, then also Accra, how do you find the balance as someone who works in three different, very different environments, but then you're still able to make things work for yourself? Yeah, um, I think it's all about um, just getting to know, like, where you're working because everything, you know everything can vary in different ways um so i think once you kind of get acclimatized you know you know your environment around the people that you can kind of work with people you work for and build that kind of base of people it's easy to kind of 
transition to another place and be able to continue working um so like when I was in LA it's very much a business so very much like and that is kind of um I learned a good side of the business when I was there um I think in Ghana it's um things can be a lot slower paced but you just kind of have to adjust things to to that um and then in, in london i think it's it's very very fast paced um people like to do things quickly get things out there um so yeah i think it's just adjusting um with the people you're working with in the different places and it it's really um it's it's really i really like discovering um how everyone kind of works in, in different places as well and just kind of adjusting because once you're there and you're just kind of sitting as an observer you just you learn more about um you know where you are and that kind of brings ideas for content brings ideas for you know writing projects and um, yeah i think it's it's actually it's been it's been nice being able to to do that especially ghana because ghana is home so um yeah definitely amazing and so i'll come to you barack um, tell us about the experience at the akbank festival cleaning salka um the Ak akbank is uh, one of the major uh, short film festivals in turkey uh, so that was definitely um exciting to have our turkey premiere there um we only had been able to join the festival for the last few days of it uh, unfortunately for scheduling uh, uh, scheduling issues with our uh, private uh, private lives and uh, work um, but uh, the time we have been there it was really good uh, on our screening uh, the house was full so that was that's always nice. I mean, um, seeing your film with people uh, and having one-on-one -on -one, uh, feedback and feeling their energy is always, I think, uh, one of the most re rewarding things as far as making making an independent film goes. Uh, really nice. Um, it was. It was, it, it was definitely. Yeah. Definitely a good experience. Awesome. And we're also excited to have you on for the Accra Indie Film Festival. If you just joined in, you can send in your questions, comments. Don't hesitate at all. Just leave them there and we'll read it to our filmmakers. So I'm going to go now into the projects that are on the festival this year. So when we talk of Locked In, can you give us a brief about the film without giving too much away um stephanie oh yeah <laughs> so i think the film just explores you know two friends who travel back to ghana um both from there that's where their heritage is at and um they're going on a journey and this journey you know discovers a few things that um you know they haven't kind of uh, factored in their journey you know um and i guess you kind of just see that unravel as they get to their destination and just being able to um figure out what it is they're gonna do um and come to a conclusion at the end so i think it's hard to say it without saying it so i'm just gonna keep it short and sweet <laughs> and just say a journey of two friends who go back to ghana and they're on a mission um to seek some land um, pastures and um yeah just that is the adventure. So we're not going to give too much away. If you are watching, please come to the um, screening sessions and come yes. and watch <laughs> for yourself. But then I would like to know what was the inspiration behind the story? Is it a personal story or is it just something that you made up? Or just tell us about that. So Kwame Augustine, he is the writer and he also acted in it and, you know, we produced it as well together with Eric. And um, so he kind of came to me with the script and the idea. And I believe him and Eric kind of came up with, with that together, you know, as they were just kind of uh, sitting in a barbecue shop and they just, you know, was talking. And I think the themes that it does um, talk about, it's very kind of, you know, important to speak about it because um, we don't really, you know, talk about that side of things. So, 
I think it's interesting to explore kind of like how that is that works within kind of like a modern um, society and how things are still kind of playing out the way that you know I know you've watched it and people haven't watched it may not understand everything I'm saying but it's just I think for context mm. they came together with that idea just um, just literally vibing with each other and just thinking about you know what it is it that they would want to talk about um so yeah and then mm. I finally brought me the script and I was like yeah definitely love this let's do it um so yeah no and how long did it take for you to um from conception to the now screening how long was this process and how grueling was it yeah so this one was actually quicker um than expected oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I heard about it um probably like a month before we actually decided to get together and shoot it um so there was a bit of let's say like two months before then that's when the initial idea was and then um Kwame went through the script he kind of edited it etc um took feedback went back and forth and then kind of concluded and so we had about four weeks to get everything together and the funny thing is I was in Ghana um from February and it was now November and then I left and then Kwame said hey are we going to do this? And I was like, oh, that means I'm going to have to like travel back. Right. <laughs> and so um, Eric also, his kind of timelines, because he had some um, work he was filming. So he said like, look, this is the time he can do. So um, he has these couple of days to come and make it work. So it was, it was a four week turnaround. So it was very kind of fast paced in that sense. Um, and yeah, it was it was a lot of um, just kind of getting things together, but I think it definitely worked out. And I'm one thousand percent glad that I uh, said yes to this project because um, yeah, it's just it's doing really well, and we're just really proud of it. Amazing. And um, Virak, for you, um, how long did it take for you to put together Salka, and um, what was the inspiration behind the film? Uh, the inspiration behind the film is actually something that I went through that is similar to the story. Uh, fortunately, uh, my my version of it wasn't uh, the way that it is in the film. Um, when, when you watch it, uh, you'll, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> uh, 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 but yeah, that's... Uh, what I uh, experienced back then uh, created a very strong reaction in me, and uh, that inspired the uh, inspired the film. Also, uh, the film film's topic is violence, and it's a it's a big issue in uh, in Turkey, at least I can say. Uh, but I think it's globally uh, a problem. Uh, so. Uh, and the numbers have been quite uh, on the rise uh, in the recent years here. So that was another uh, other motivation uh, in making the film. Um, as far as the time goes, actually, it was a, quite a long duration because uh, when I got the idea for the film, I was actually finishing my first film. Um, and that was in the um, editing phase, uh, post-production phase. And I wrote the film uh, straight after the, the events that happened. And then um, I had to film and then that was the uh, So another idea, and, and I wanted to make that during the pandemic. Uh, Uh, during the pandemic also, um, towards the end of it, uh, and uh, eventually editing and then festival submissions. So it's all about uh, the, the seed dropped uh, four years before the uh, uh, end of the production. But it's just, as I said, uh, it had to rest uh, here and there and then um, trying to make it uh, during the pandemic was uh, it made definitely made the pre-production and production uh, quite a um, long uh, time because we had to uh, deal with
right before the uh, lockdown hours starts and then uh, we were shooting all throughout the night till the lock lock lockout uh, was um, off again wow. so all of those, those things uh, made it a quite uh, quite uh, long cumbersome process right right so th those are two different experiences one was quite quick with stephanie's film and then yeah we have finding a long period of time so that's to tell you that filmmaking really has no format it's no it's no exactly and you really can't tell how long your project will take so for instance i'd like to know burak um you're working on your first feature film congratulations also and um, what is that about? Can you give us just a, a brief on what the film is about? Um, the feature is also uh, inspired by Salch, actually. Um, because, because the process was so long, uh, till I get to make the short film, the, the initial idea got uh, larger and larger. Um, and once I finished the finished the shorts uh, with the experience of making this film, um, the, the story got bigger. So I started working on the uh, feature version of it. Mm. All right. Okay. That explains a lot. And Stephanie, do you think um, Logged In is going to be your last short film, or are we going to see a number of short films from you even after your? Um, so, um, currently, um, working on another short film series with Kwame, um, it's called Johnny, so oh. that's, that's going to be out towards the end of the year in September, so definitely stay tuned for that, um, really, really excited for that. Um, and there's another one called Small Chops, um, who I, um, collaborated with, um, Winnie, and she is part of an organisation called Seven Black Women, and, you know, they were able to get a whole crew of just women of colour together, as well as the writer um, who wrote the piece as well. And it's just, that was also a really amazing experience. And that is also, um, you know, in the editing top block right now. Um, so that should be, uh, you know, out hopefully by August. Um, and so, yeah, definitely there's other short films coming up this year. And then other than that, I think I'm just going to try and all my efforts to focus on um you know developing uh the speaker so yeah amazing stuff so guys watch out for our two filmmakers Barack and stephanie they have coming out and don't forget that the film festival is happening from the 31st of july to the 5th of August. So come around and watch the beautiful car by Burak, which means bitter in English. And then we have Stephanie's film Locked In. You're not, you're, you're going to enjoy them because they are two different. The film, I'm not going to give any teasers whatsoever. You have to come to it. And I see Stephanie, you have a number of fans in the audience, they're saying you are glowing, is the Ghana glow. <laughs> and more fun aspects. This is going to be our final aspect of this conversation. So if you have any question, please leave it in the comments. So um, Burak, Stephanie, I'd like to know, if you're not making films, what do you do? I think it cut out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, then. I was asking Stephanie, that is the more fun uh, aspect. Um, when you're not... It's a very interesting question. <laughs> So um, definitely appreciate and love family time. So just spending time with family, friends, and like the loved ones. Um, so the different functions and that we have, you know, just I'm very much um, very, very chill when it comes to like 
doing things. So, yeah, just more so just outings, to be honest, whether it's the, um, you know, cinemas or, or a lounge, etc. just more so just spending time with people. Um, and yeah. And you, Barack, if we, if we don't see you on amazing films, what are you doing? Uh, I, I enjoy reading, uh, mm. I enjoy watching movies, uh, okay. I like, I, I like seeing, uh, what else is out there and, um, I also enjoy cooking, so, um, mm. I'm in the kitchen or I'm reading or, uh, watching, watching a movie, um, hope. Uh, if I can, I, I'd like to go to and uh, go and watch watch in the theater. Um, although it's a uh, it's a dying trend these days. Um, and other than that, uh, of course, uh, family time, friends, um, that sort of thing. Mm. Nice. So both of you like family time. That's interesting to note. So it's, regardless of country, regardless of continent film make a few things in common. I've noticed that over the span of the three days and let's, this, this is their last chance to ask questions. So I see you are still giving fans and all, but then ask questions if you have any for Stephanie and Barack. And then before we end this session, I'd like you to speak to the audience. Why should someone come and watch Selka, Barack? Um. Because it's in the festival, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I uh, there were, yeah, uh, well, there were there were a lot of submissions this year, so uh, we are lucky that uh, we we passed through the uh, elimination process. Uh, mm. I'm imagining it be hard to uh, get a Turkish film in in Ghana. Uh, it's. I don't think it's. It, it's a uh, very often. To see uh, Turkish perspective, so global. Mm. Uh, and problematic thing and we have nice trills and uh, I've been hearing from uh, the audience who watched the film yeah. that's uh, that uh, uh, encourage them to question some things um, which I won't I won't go into so that people can go and see and uh, see it for themselves Exactly. And regardless of the language used in film, you definitely come and see Selka as well. And Stephanie, um, final way we come and watch Locked In, what is it that will be our takeaway? Um, I think Locked In has a lot of hidden gems. Um, as you watch it um, on the surface, you might um, miss it. And then when it gets to the ending and also just kind of what it leaves you with. Um, it's very powerful. I think it's very thought provoking. It's going to make you think, it's going to make you question, um, you know, a lot of things about how the system works and how mm. we've kind of uh, grown into that, especially as, you know, especially as for Africa as well. It's just very interesting to explore um, those very important. Of locked in and a car. so I'm just I'm very looking forward to it so much. Um, and I, it's a shame I can't be there right now. And if I can find a way, I will. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to leave um, the audience with just like a powerful message um, that we kind of need to hear. Yeah, and even though would love 
you we still feel that your film would speak for itself and then it would also resonate with people and that's the power of film mm. connecting people that's what the aim of the accra indie film festival is um thank you so much for joining in um we're going to keep this as brief as possible we might have to go back to work we just stole a bit of their lunch time <laughs> and then it's been, it's been a wonderful conversation with you Barack, all the way from turkey thank you so much for joining in and steph me. Thank you for joining us from the UK. AIF, that is the Accra Indie Film Festival, is happening 31st of July. Come around, come watch amazing films from amazing filmmakers all across the world. We would like to say a big thank you to Alliance France Ghana. For Don't forget, tomorrow, tomorrow we have our um, watch party. It's going to be happening at Sakumono. So definitely come around 6.30, come and enjoy wonderful films. All the films that are going to be screening have been announced. So check out the Accra Indie Film Festival page and get to know all the details. There's also going to be karaoke. So come with your nice voices. Make sure you eat some bananas and drink some lemon water so that everything is clear. Come and then sing and then while we enjoy films. Thank you so much everyone and it's goodbye until our next session with beautiful filmmakers i'll say bye for now bye thank, thank bye. you for having us bye bye, bye.